Yo guys, Mike for Sim Racing 604 and welcome back to Assetto Corsa. And we are driving the VRC Tourers Pack. We're here at Thruxton and you'll notice a skin. Friend of the channel, Stephen Bailey, has released a skin on, a, on Race Department for this Thruxton track. And uh, looks like BTC, BTCC 1999. It is early, I can't talk. But hopefully I can put together some sort of drive. We're going to do a 10 lapper here at Thruxton. And I've left links in the description for both the track and the skin. So um, if you missed it over the holidays, Virtual Racing Cars released this Tours pack. Which of course takes us back to late 90s BTCC racing. Wheel to wheel, front wheel drive. Very exciting cars. Um, behave beautifully with the uh, AI driving you can go wheel to wheel for basically as long as you want all you got to do is find the right difficulty setting and uh, yeah there's no issues with trains or, or anything like that it's just uh, the cars do exactly what you would expect them to do and uh, makes for fantastic single player racing and I've even seen a few multiplayer I don't know if they're leagues but certainly events uh, pop up using the DRC tours pack so very exciting excellent release by virtual racing cars and what's going on here? Everyone stopped because somebody went backwards, but we're rolling again. Or we're trying to roll anyway <laughs> out of second gear. All right, so currently in 11th position of 15 cars. And as I say, 10 laps here to get the job done. And the, this is just fun. The reason I wanted to do this video is because I have noticed, you know, sim racing seems to be in somewhat of a negative headspace right now, and, uh, you know, in some cases, rightfully so. Like, uh, I get that the R Factor 2 event didn't go well. I get that there was, you know, a seeming absence of uh, stewarding for the iRacing 24 hour at Daytona, and uh, yeah, just a lot going on in sim racing. But at the core of it, we all love what we do, and we find fun in our own ways and this is one of the ways I find fun so just wanted to do a little positive video and encourage people to um, you know try not to get too mired in the negativity in sim racing and uh, find your fun whatever that happens to be hopefully you can get back to that positive headspace and uh, sim racing will move past this I promise you but with that sunshine lollipops message let's get back to the racing here so still in 11th. Can't seem to find a way by these folk. Uh, are we under yellow again? Woo. AI line needs work here at Thruxton. Yeah, <laughs> that was a lot of overtakes under yellow. But I uh, don't know what I was supposed to do there. Can't wait forever. So I've launched up into 5th position. So now I've got better part of 8 laps to overtake... What did I say? 5th? So 4 cars. And we'll see what happens here. And I apologize, I know I said, of course, that has looked better. For some reason, I messed up something in Custom Shaders patch and everything was too bright, so now I had to turn it all back down. Now it doesn't look that great, so I apologize about that. I'll get back to these settings at some point. But uh, anyway, we are here. And if you're wondering why I'm kind of taking it easy around this corner uh, and the next two right-handers, you have to lift, or at least I do, based on this setup. Otherwise, you go sideways like that, and as fun as that looks, and it probably looks cool in replay, um, it's not really the fastest line, nor the safest line. I'm sure I will bin at some point if I keep that up, so got to turn down the sideways driving. So I, I try and lift and even tap the brakes to kind of settle the car, get some more front grip. So that's the reason I don't take those corners flat out. And we're back to our friend corner here. The one that keeps spinning my AI rivals. And they got through clean this time, so so will I. And for once, second gear makes sense. So you notice the classic billboards alongside of the Thruxton track here. That is, again, the work of Stephen Bailey. Well done, sir. Big lock there. Oh no, I'm not going to make this corner, am I? I did, but you guys couldn't feel it, but I was just sliding that whole way around. So let me know in the comments what you do just 
for pure fun in sim racing. Again, I'm not saying we shouldn't address the negative things in sim racing. I just think uh, it's good to get back to that positive headspace as soon as possible. And I am unfortunately not gaining any time here, so I need to find some speed in this Mando. I think that's what they call the car. Yeah, the Mando. And coming up to the nasty, nasty corner here. Made it through clean last time. Let's see what happens this time. Through clean. So now it's all on me. What can I do to get this done? Whoa, no, 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 not like that. Woo! <laughs> oh, man. That's part of the reason these things are so fun. Certainly not the whole reason, but uh, that front wheel drive, you know, when you start to go sideways, what's the answer? Well, you mat it. <laughs> you just hit the accelerator as hard as you can, as fast as you can, and hope that the car writes itself. In all likelihood, it will, which I find really cool. And, uh,. Yeah, it's just a really fun, fun way to drive. But you do have to be careful of overloading those front tires. For example, in cases like this, I mean, you're asking so much of the tires, these long right-handers, you're trying to accelerate, you're trying to uh, uh, hug the corner, not hug the corner, but you're trying to uh, take a fast right-hander. So there's just so much work being done by those front tires, and it's not uncommon to uh, overwhelm them. Currently running lap 5 of 10, which puts us at about the halfway mark. This is a really fun circuit. This is actually my first time driving Thruxton, I believe. I did some, uh, did about half an hour of practice to try and learn some of the corners. And now here we are. Okay, this one went ugly last time, but I managed to hold on to it that time. And I think I'm drawing closer. If I can keep this clean, if I can keep this lap clean, should be right on these folk. Second and first position, though, way, way ahead. Wow, that was ugly. Wheel to wheel. And I think AI, no, I got him. I was gonna say, I think he's still beside me, but that was not, in fact, the case. Woo. Hold on to it, Mike. A little smoke there from the car ahead. Doesn't take much to lock these brakes. Hold on to it, Mike. Hold on to it. Trying to push a little bit. AI car right behind me. I can see him in my right mirror. He's going to try and overtake into this final corner here, or final corner complex. Got it done, but I wonder, can I get a good launch here and reclaim that spot? So far, nothing. This could be something, though. I'm gonna have to defeat him under braking here. Oh, two for one? Where are we? Where are we? Not a two for one, but I definitely got that one position back. Decent launch here, but not quite enough to overtake. Hang on. Woo! That gets scary at times. Round the outside. Round the outside. Wheel to wheel. This could be nasty coming into this right-hander. Come on, Mike. You got this. Nice and easy. Nice and easy! Woo! That was the opposite. It was neither nice nor easy. And I'm going to be in a similar situation here. AI is going to try and overtake me. They're both on my left. make the car as wide as possible on the track 
and I managed to hold on to it. Now, how long will I be able to hold this position is anyone's guess. And I'm running dangerously low on time here to catch either second or first place. Oh, they're way off. I just saw them go off into the distance, so this is likely how it will end. Unless I could really pull out some time here somehow. Unlikely, though. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Come on, Mike. Totally lost my ability to drive these cars for some reason. Pulled out quite a gap actually to the car behind. Which is good news, of course. But not really closing in on the car ahead. Showing 9.2 seconds behind. So this will be how it ends. Tell you what, let's make things interesting. Since there's nothing on the line, just AI racing here. Let me surrender one position. I'll put myself back in the pack. Because I think I owe the universe a position or two for that overtake under yellow, don't I? There we go. Alright, time to race. Two laps to catch this AI car. Just such spectacular mods. They really are. It's so much fun. Highly recommended. As I mentioned earlier in the video, I will definitely drop a link in the description for buying not only the car, but uh, you can download the track for free. You can download this skin for free. And uh, there's a number of skins for the cars as well now. I haven't had a chance to uh, download any of them, but I know if you're looking for authentic 1999 BTCC skins, you can do so. Alright, getting a little worried here. <laughs> Thought I would give one courtesy position back and then have you know some bumper-to-bumper -bumper racing to finish the race, but uh, as it stands, I've given up I think about a two second gap to the car ahead. So, uh, final lap, I'm gonna have to push to get this back. I am confident that I can get uh, on that podium though. As long as I can keep it clean. I'm not worried about fast so much as just clean. I think that middle sector, going through those long sweeping right-handers, I think that is where I'm giving the majority of my time back. So, got him in our sights. What can we do here? Whoa. Smoke show. Trying to blind me. Death Race 2000 style tactics. Managed to hold on to grip there, but they did drop back. So this is all going to come down to this braking zone. <laughs> Speaking of Death Race 2000, pretty sure I just ran my opponent head on <laughs> into a barrier. Uh, but anyway, uh, really great track, really great track skin, and of course great cars. Again, find your fun. Let's get back to positivity in sim racing. Thanks for watching.